He says, why are you accumulating so many sins by inflicting suffering upon the innocent? Don't you understand that what goes around comes back, comes around? Every sin that is committed is definitely going to fructify in the form of a future suffering you have to undergo. The voice froze Ratnakar to a halt. Gathering his composure, he promptly attempted to justify his actions. This is what I thought I'd explain to you. And he said, I do this. I do all this killing to earn for my family. And that's what he says. I do this with the sole aim of feeding my family. And then Narad Muni said, all right, told him that it was his aim. His family should be willing to share the burden of his sins. So go and check with your family. Will they share the burden of the sins? And this paragraph says, he went to the family, that I earn all the sin for you to feed you all. Will you bear the burden of my sins? And he came back and said, no family said, we will. He said, nobody was willing to participate. And that's when he realized, he, he crestfallen came back. This brutal response shocked Ratnakar. Crestfallen, he went back to Narad Mun. Ratnakar could now be helped. Prostrate at Narad Muni's feet, Ratnagar asked him to solve his dilemma. The fear that his sins would engulf him aggravated Ratnagar's anxiety and implored the Muni for guidance. And that's where he started, he started to chant the name of Lord Ram. 